Hey guys, I'm Nick and welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're talking about Star Trek Picard Season 3, Episode 9. We're almost at the end of the season uh, and it looks like it's heating up to be a pretty big uh, finale. So uh, this week we're talking about the trailer, uh, which we're going to have a look at for the uh, episode that's just dropped and also the promo photos that have just come out to showcase this episode. I'm guessing there's a lot of uh, cool reveals and uh, secrets and stuff that's going to drop in this episode so that'll be very interesting to see and the trailer does give us a little bit of a glimpse uh, at some of those little uh, clues and things that we might be uh, able to have a bit of a deeper look at what to expect in the next episode so that'll be cool to have a look at um, so yeah so without further ado let's take a look at the trailer uh, then we'll break that down shot by shot and then have a look at the uh, the promo photos as well and have a look at them so let's get started with the trailer for Star Trek Picard season 3 episode 9 entitled Vox the outcome of this entire conspiracy was intended for this moment they're gonna blow us out of the water we have to try Police trying to commandeer our systems. They're shutting us down. We're out of time. We need to get off the Titan before it's too late. <gasps> Incoming. We'll cover you. <sighs> I've never been so happy to see so many wrinkles. Okay, there was a lot of quick flash imagery and so forth in this trailer. Uh, shots that zipped by very fast and we didn't really get a chance to uh, analyze them in too much detail, but that's what we're going to do now. We're going to have a look at these shots uh, frame by frame, uh, see if uh, we can see what we can see on certain screens and backgrounds and all these little quick flash moments that uh, we'll have a look at in a bit more detail now. So for starters, the very, very first shot of this trailer is a shot of uh, looks like some brain synapses or... Uh, more extended sort of root structure even which you know obviously then relates to Jack's visions and everything which have always had a sort of roots or vines or whatever which in this image more looks a bit more like I, I would have thought like the synapses of a brain so whether uh, we're getting into Jack's condition on a more cellular level uh, in this particular episode. In this shot we see more of the red vines covering the hallway of uh, the Titan there, streaming light coming in through the window and the red door at the end of the corridor. In this shot we see Geordi with a screen behind him there showing all of the different Federation starships that have gathered together for the Frontier Day celebrations around that big space dock. Amongst the starships that I can read in the background are the Sutherland, the Venture, the Akira and the Thunderchild and the others are all a bit out of focus to make out. Here we see a wide shot of all of the the uh, ships gathered together for Frontier Day. Quite a lot of Federation starships there. Fireworks being set off in the background. And obviously we've got the uh, the Titan warping into the festivities as well. Next it looks like some sort of remote system is taking control of the Titan. Entering fleet formation mode. Which seems to be some sort of automated configuration. That's going to maybe put all of our Federation starships in such some sort of fancy formation. Perhaps they'll take the shape of the Starfleet Delta or something like that. But this whole automated system that both Geordie and Alandra talked about in an earlier episode it, it kind of smells a little bit to me like the finale for Star Trek Prodigy where the uh, the living construct virus from the Vauna cut uh, took control of all those Federation starships and turned them against each other which kind of feels to me like the sort of thing that might be on the cards for this changelings plan to thwart the Federation but I mean I really hope it's not something like that because it's very similar to what they did on Prodigy when Will says in this shot that they have to all get off the Titan I'm really thinking that something's going to happen to the fleet in terms of this connection that all the ships have got that's going to require them to go back to the fleet museum and acquire one of the more historic vessels to uh, to finish their mission i'm betting whatever was in hangar 12 that lander talked about which might be the enterprise e or maybe even the restored enterprise d perhaps now here's one of the more revealing shots of the trailer which actually shows someone coming through the red door at the end of the hallway it's what appears to be a female figure i'm guessing this is beverly because all of the whispers we've heard jack hearing in his mind over the course of the season and more often than not they've been Beverly's voice so the fact that there's an image of Beverly at the end of this doorway does make a lot of sense shot here of Jack with the red eyes obviously he's doing his thing where he projects his consciousness into somebody else's body I'm guessing shot of Deanna here looking very shocked uh, we've got the red door there open to her right uh, so whatever she's looking at it's 
what we're seeing on the other side of the red door, but the lighting is more white compared with the other shot we just saw before, which was very orange in color. So this is probably something different she's seeing. We've got our heroes here, look like they're cornered at the end of a hallway. We've got Geordie working on a control panel furiously there on the right of frame. Guessing they're trying to unlock the door at the end of the hall while they're pinned in by some attacking force that's uh, approaching their location. And they have to get through the, uh, the doorway at the end there to get to safety. Based on this following up shot, I think it's probably these Federation security officers that are firing on them, which are potentially changelings in disguise. We've got lots of cargo crates and everything in the background. So whether they're passing through the cargo bay area, that would seem logical. Shot of Jack here looking very angry pointing a phaser and screaming at somebody. Really beautiful shot here of the Frontier Day celebrations. We've got the uh, the space dock there on the bottom left of frame and of course the Enterprise F in sort of the top center area there of the frame with all the fireworks going off in the background. As we've seen in previous imagery in this season, it's the decommissioning of the Enterprise F as part of this uh, Frontier Day celebrations. We've got uh, Seven and Riker and Shaw coming out of a turbo lift here. I'm not actually 100% convinced they're on the Titan anymore in this frame. The, the background and the uh, the decor looks a little bit different than the Titan. So I wonder if they're on a different starship at this point. Now, other group of heroes here, probably a follow-on from that earlier shot we saw of them held up against that door fighting uh, off some attackers, cargo containers around them. Looks like the same place. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at the promotional photos that have come out for this episode as well and have a look through them uh, to see whether they offer any uh, greater insight into uh, what we uh, are up to expect in this next episode of Picard. So this shot here shows Deanna and Jack in the hallway. Obviously, this is part of that therapy session where Deanna's going into his mind. They're looking down the hallway, lots of red roots and everything, and the red door at the end of the hallway. Jean-Luc and Beverly in uh, sickbay here looking both a little shocked. Beverly, very defensive uh, posture there. Jean-Luc's looking a bit shell-shocked. So I reckon Deanna has sprung the news on them as to whatever is the situation with Jack, and uh, it's a bit of a surprise. Same location, Deanna... She's just dropped a bit of a truth bombshell, I reckon. And yeah, look at look at Beverly in the background. She's looking very shocked. And Jean-Luc here, even, uh, his expression on his face uh, indicates a bit of disbelief as well. Deanna here, reverse angle, in sick bay again. Same scene, no doubt. She's just sort of said something that's like, sorry guys, but uh, this is the situation with Jack. And uh, it's uh, going over as a bit of a shock. Data and Geordie here. Looks like they're in a shuttlecraft. They're looking uh, quite happy quite pleased geordie's looking somewhat more serious in this frame as always guys if you haven't subscribed to sci fanatics yet don't be shy click on that big subscribe button to stay current and up to date with all the latest star trek news on youtube hey guys just a heads up from the uh, 12th to the 16th of april um there's a merch store sale uh free shipping buy any t-shirt hoodie mug cap sticker whatever there and have it shipped out to you uh free of charge that's a, a cool uh, bargain to take advantage of heaps of cool star trek designs in the merch store and uh, some uh, some new popular ones in there as well so uh, be sure to check that out and get uh, it sent out to you with free shipping don't forget to like and comment let me know what your thoughts are on the upcoming ninth episode of Star Trek Picard. Leave a super thanks if you're able to, that really helps the channel out as well. Uh, check out my other videos uh, and uh, I'll catch you guys on Thursday for my review for episode 9. I'll see you then.